everyone, I would like to meet you to meet Penelope Putty Cat. She is six months old and she is one of my favorite cats I've ever owned. And even though she likes to walk all over my computer while I'm doing my schoolwork and wake me up at the worst possible times during the night, I still can't imagine life without her. But did you know that cats were once sacred? You hear that? Yes, your average house cat. Even my Bengal baby, like, like Penelope over here, was sacred. And today I will be telling you about why your feline friends were sacred in ancient Egypt. Yes, you heard that right. In ancient Egypt, cats were worshipped by their human companions. As humans, we kind of think, but why? It sounds strange. Cats were actually worshipped for a variety of reasons. But one of the main reasons is that is because they killed pests that carried diseases such as rats, mosquitoes, locusts, fleas, and ticks. According to a 2018 piece from Smithsonian Magazine titled Why the Ancient Egyptians Loved Their Kitties, Jacob Brogan and Antonietta Catanzaridis stated, Everything has a meaning. A cat protecting the house from mice. Or it might just protect kittens. These were attitudes that were attributed to a specific goddess. And that specific god deity in the Egyptian religion took on the form of the domestic house cat. According to the Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum in San Jose, California, Bastet was the goddess of protection, pleasure, and the bringer of good health. She had the head of a cat and a slender female human body. But it wasn't just the house cat. One deity also took on the form of a lion. The Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum also stated Sekhemet, whose name means she who is powerful, or the one who loves Ma'at, was the goddess of the hot desert, sun, plague, chaos, war, and healing. Sekhemet was depicted with the body of a woman with the head of a lion wearing a sun disc, and she was seen as the protector of the pharaohs and led them in warfare. And the Egyptians' devotions to cats went far beyond the worship of certain deities. It's kind of obvious that our feline pals played a very significant role in Egyptian life. The role they played is rooted in the belief that they carried a divine energy. In a November 2018 piece for How Stuff Works, Dave Roos stated, the most widespread belief was that domestic cats carried the divine essence of Bastet, or Baast, the cat-headed goddess who represented fertility, domesticity, music, dance, and pleasure. For that reason, cats were to be protected and venerated. And, you know, <clears throat> one thing that might shock you is that the penalty for harming and or killing an a cat, even if it was by accident, was death. So cats were very highly regarded, and this so-called divine energy may actually have something to do with their personalities and why they want to be loved all the time. <laughs> as well as why they like to find ways to be the center of attention, I am looking at you, Penelope Putty Cat. And despite their wacky behavior and desires to stick their noses in our business, our feline friends were once considered sacred for the simplest thing, such as keeping our homes pest-free. And next time your talkative Tonkinese or massive Maine Coon wants to plop up on your lap while you're watching TV, thank the ancient Egyptians. <laughs>